Hi, welcome back. Uh, tonight we're going to paint a landscape. Uh, first part of the painting is going to be done in ArtRage, the second part in Photoshop. You can see here, um, just with the laying on top of some really simple and pretty poorly done uh, line work. So I'm definitely going to have to make some changes to the work as I get into it. But uh, today the painting is really about just having some fun. It's Easter Sunday and wanted to paint something with some beautiful light in it and this was an image I had from a really great trip to Florence a few years back. Um, RH5 is great. It's such a fun tool to use for doing this kind of stuff. Um, I had a, a pretty experienced artist I ran into the other day I was looking at my portfolio and I had this other painting of Florence uh, from the day prior to this. Um, almost the same uh, vantage point over the river and he could not tell it was a digital painting. He was convinced it was oils. And, and RH really can do that. And um, here I'm using RH using just the standard oil brush. You can see the settings I have up in the top corner of the scene. Um, RH, the combination and of the textured painting surface, you know, the simulated canvas, and then the bristle effects from the brush based on how you want to set up your brush can have a really, really cool effect on the overall um, impression of the painting. It gives it a lot more of a, a tactile presence than, than you would typically find in a lot of digital paintings. So um, big, big excitement around ArtRage in that regard. Um, this painting, which is going to be done part in ArtRage and part in Photoshop, is interesting because both of these tools do things very differently and, and are really good at different things. So I just wanted to see you know, how it might be to paint a painting between the two pieces of software and see if I can kind of get the best of both worlds. Um, the, the thing that you can get from ArtRage that you cannot get with even the most custom brushes downloaded from the best artists in the world is you just can't, with Photoshop, you cannot get that this feels like real paint um, impression that you can get from ArtRage just super, super easily. Uh, the other thing that ArtRage does exceedingly well is um, it keeps your workspace simple and allows you to just jump right into the work. Um, I love the... Oh, I guess this is kind of a funny thing that um, you don't think about, but as you, as you get more and more into the digital painting, you start to use more and more keyboard shortcuts, and every little time saver you can come up with starts to matter. You know, in the beginning, you don't care about that stuff; you just love to paint, and, and it's all fun. But after you kind of doing this more and more and more professionally, it, time becomes pretty important. And um, one of the great time savers that ArtRage employs is if you just hold the Shift key and you drag your stylus across your drawing surface, it'll change the brush larger one direction, smaller in the other direction. I think that's amazing, and I wish so much that Photoshop would employ that. But um, you know, each software has its its quirks and its little little things that just make it awesome and fun. Um, speaking of, of quirks, I have some serious uh, distortion in this picture, and as I'm flipping it around, both horizontal and vertical, you get into another real big benefit of workflow with ArtRage. Um, you can see that I was hitting H on the keyboard to flip it horizontally and hitting B on the keyboard to switch it vertically. And that lets me see any of the problem areas that I might have with the drawing or the design and just kind of have a little bit of fresh eye on it. So here I just use the selection tools and, and remat or kind of resized the focal point of the painting. I just made it too large in my initial sketch. I think I told you about that in the beginning, that it was going to be a problem, and it was. But um, here I want to talk about something else that's awesome about ArtRage. Um, as much as I love the oil brush, sometimes I can get a little bit stronger effect from the paint roller tool. And now you think, why would I use a paint roller in an oil painting or something that's approximating an oil painting? Well, the reason is, is it has this very angular stroke. It's real similar to like a flat. And um, working with it gives it just a little more of a, I, you know, a real geometric feel, but um, also kind of a chunky texture to the paint. And now I'm just using this palette knife set to standard settings and I'm just pulling it across that chunky surface that I created with the uh, paint roller. And I'm just trying, I guess I'm just trying to get a little more paint on the canvas and a little more um, geometry in and around all of this mass of buildings. And you can see how I'm holding 
H to flip the canvas horizontally, um, I have a little distortion in the picture and just working back and forth, back and forth, back and forth really helps to keep it balanced and keep uh, <coughs> keep it balanced and keep it fresh. So, I mean, at this point, ArtRage has done the job. I could easily finish this back with an oil brush or maybe one of my custom brushes or, or a couple of my custom brushes and be super delighted. Um, but just for the sake of this exercise, I'm going to pull it into Photoshop pretty soon and see where we go from there. But um, ArtRage just shows its quality. I mean, this was really fast and really fun. I just did a lay-in with some line work and then did some blocking with all the, the big colors and, and, and just the big areas of value. And, um, you know, it's a lot. It feels good. And, um, and I really like it. I just think... Let's try something in Photoshop to see what would happen if we if we try to get best of both worlds. So you know, here we are in Photoshop, just like I said, and um, immediately I think that the difference is apparent in the sort of the way that you get texture and the set of tool the tool set, and then there's a sort of I guess it feels like you have a little more control in Photoshop. Um, ArtRage feels a little bit more like you're holding a, a, a big long oil brush kind of from the end and you know you've got the long stem of the brush and then the collar and then you know, and then and then all the bristles and they're like long bristles and it feels like when you paint in our age it feels like you're painting with a big oil brush and and the, the benefits of that meaning that you get this kind of gesture and impasto and this flu, fluid feeling with the paint where with Photoshop it feels almost like more like you're grabbing up around the collar of whatever the tool is, and it almost feels more like a uh, marker than it does paint. And that's kind of cool. Uh, or like marker or pastel more than like paint, but they both are awesome. They're both just super, super fun to use. Um, I am loving the a little bit greater sense of control over the little things that I, I have with the brushes I'm using here in Photoshop. And... Um, here I'm using a mixer brush in conjunction with just a standard brush and choosing from a big roster of brushes that I've downloaded from. Some are custom made and, and some are ones I've downloaded from illustrators that are, you know, share them across the internet and stuff. So um, check out ArtStation or DeviantArt or whatever. You can get a lot of brushes that are fantastic for free. And um, people are just really generous online and I, I absolutely love that. Um, you know, at this point in the painting, there's a lot of little detail that I have to decide about whether or not it's important enough to keep it in the picture. Um, also, I'm trying to do a lot of pushing and pulling of value to, to make some of the darks pop a little more and some of the lights um, stand out. You know, just if I was a photographer, I'd be messing with my my curves or my um, my exposure. This Some of those tools just to sort of push and pull my lights and darks a little bit. Um, I want to get a, kind of the maximal impression of the deep, deep space as this river valley is yielding back into this amazing sunset. And I can get that by pushing my dark values in the foreground a little bit and then, and then easing up on my values in the background where it should be lighter, lighter, lighter. So um, I think it's coming together and I think we're seeing some of the quality of having both pieces of software um, that we get to work on at, at, at the same time. So just a huge benefit there. And um, just want to take you know, every opportunity I have to finish this piece in a strong way. I'm going to use three different tools to do so, or three different kind of assets of Photoshop. One is using the clone stamp tool to sort of add a little more variety to my mark making. I'm going to clone from one area and paint over in another area using similar value, kind of getting the benefits of some surprise there. Also using the dodge and burn tools, um, here using the burn tool to just add a little bit more complexity and shadow to just little areas. Without having to go in and paint windows, I can just effectively burn them in and do the same thing with like tree branches or, or you know sticks of wood or whatever, and just to give it a little bit more texture. Um, the final thing I'm going to do is make some separate layers, one with um, some like gravel, and then blur that out and then overlay that layer to give the painting a little bit of like a dappled, almost like reticulation, kind of a, a subtle texture that goes over the whole picture. And then I'm going to use another layer in the foreground to add some 
darks to kind of push the dark values, and then one in the background to sort of um, accentuate the light values to stretch out that spatial depth as much as is possible. And you get to see that and then um, see this thing wrap up. So thanks so much for watching. It's been a lot, a lot of fun to paint this experiment with you and we'll try it out live and, and just kind of see how it goes. So it's been pretty cool. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you've maybe learned something about the benefits of the two software. Thanks so much and you know, keep, uh, come back soon.